I'll uh, tell you a little bit about me. Just realized this the other day. Um, every woman who has ever wanted to have sex with me uh, has. <laughs> One hundred percent success rate. Uh, I am originally from Royston, Georgia, the home of Ty Cobb, the racist baseball player from 1901. Here's how racist he was. They called him a racist in 1901. You know how racist you had to be to be too racist for 1901. Means there were Klansmen at the game, like this dude's a dick, dude. What the? Heck? Ty <laughs> My whole town's got a weird racial thing. The elementary school I went to, every day at recess, we played black versus white soccer. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Teachers were just like, pick your own teams. We're like, all right, black, white, let's go. <laughs> We'd play. But the teachers should have stopped us. They're right there. They sat there and watched us lose soccer every day for six years. They didn't say anything. It was racist of them. I didn't even know to be racist. I was just like, man, soccer is hard. Hard sport. Uh, sometimes I get a little jealous of racist people. You know how confident they are. I'm friends with all these hipsters with their mustaches and fedoras. Like, I sure hope this look makes me friends. Maybe this personality will make me cool. Racists don't care about any of that. That's why they live to be 110 and are my great grandmother, and they won't die because there's no stress in their lives. They wake up in the morning and go, I don't like them, 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 or them. Woo! I'm gonna live another 50 years. It's not a coincidence that the oldest people are the most racist. You ever see on the news, they're like, we're talking to the oldest man alive today. His name's Harold, and he's 115. What do you have to say, Harold? And he's like, there's just as many slaves in the North as there were in the South. That's all the time we have with Harold. <laughs> we don't know where that was going. I'm a big fan of comedy. Uh, I don't know how well it ages, though. You know, I'll be watching one of those old black and white roasts with my dad. Nobody's cursing, so I don't know when to laugh. I'm like, what the hell? Everybody's just up there, hey, why don't you go to Nebraska and look at a wall? And everybody's like, whoa, 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 when he calls me on the phone. I, I don't know how he's been alive this long, has no idea how a phone works at all. Every phone call I get from my dad is like, oh, hey, son, I was thinking maybe later on, could go on over to the park, maybe do a little bit. But he told me he didn't have his fishing license. Mom was like, Gabe, don't worry about that. <laughs> Let me tell you what your dog did. Your dog is running through the house. She's about twice as big as she was last time you were here. Anyway, your mom's not really talking to me right now, but hey, if you don't want to talk to me, I've been trying to get her to shut up for 20 years. It looks like I won that out. Which one she got all mad. She, she tried to put kale in my milkshake. I was like, now what the hell is kale? I don't, kale I don't know. I think kale's part of Obamacare or something. I think he's trying to kill everybody with kale. So I told her, there's just as many slaves in the North as there were in the South. Thank you. That's it for me, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.